this is lesson number three on how to read music with your bass ukuleles. So if you've been following these, this is going to be a nice, easy lesson today. Also, if you haven't been following them, but you want to read music, whether it's on your bass ukulele or even bass guitar or double bass, I have done two proper lessons already. I'll pop links in the description below, but I'm following this. It's the Team Strings Double Bass book. I highly recommend you get it. You don't 100% need it because I'm going to be putting some bits of music up on the screen, but it's a great way of uh, learning how to read music and it's the way I've taught it for many, many years. So I've got my bass ukulele all plugged in ready. I've got my team strings book. Um, lessons one and two, I covered the open strings, G, D, A and E. Today, as I said, it's going to be nice and short. I'm just looking at one page. If you've got the book, it's page 10 and it's first finger E. So if we look at the page as a whole, first of all, right at the very top, uh, first finger E and then the note on the stave, which is our third space up, all right? One note above D. We've learnt D with the open strings, mid, de, 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 D. So one note above D is E. Again, it's just logical, think of your alphabet. All right, so D, mid, da, da, da line, first finger E is the next space up. So you'll also see another little graphic there, high E and open E, because again, we've already learnt an E note, our open E. All right, we did that in lesson two. So suddenly now we've got two different E's we can play. The one we're gonna to learn today, first finger E, and our open E string. Right, the first two little exercises we're gonna do, they are minims, in other words, the notes where you can see the line through it because they're not colored in, all right? And also you'll notice strange little signs above the note, uh, sort of an, uh, half a square and a V. They are actually bow marks, all right? In other words, if you're playing it on the double bass, it would be a down bow and up bow. We haven't got to worry about that, but just for you to be aware, that's all they are. Nothing for us to worry about. So, mid da 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 line, our first note, and then E with our first finger, the next space up. Now, I know loads of you already know how to put your fingers down, especially if you've watched my beginner bass ukulele lessons, all right? But if you don't, here we go. So your first finger, all right, is going to go on the second fret. In other words, one, two on our D string. All right. And the way you really do need to press it, this is good technique, is if you make a C shape. Okay. And then you're just going to try and keep your thumb in the middle of the back of the neck. All right. So if I take my finger away, there's my C, if I put it back, and I'm gonna press quite firmly. Now, the actual metal bits are the frets and we're pressing in between. So D, then a rest, then E, then a rest, and so on. Let's have a go. Don't forget we've got our bass clef at the beginning and our four, four telling us four beats in a bar. So I'm gonna to count to four before we start. One, two, three, four. D, rest, rest. E, rest, rest. D, rest, rest. E, rest, rest. So first of all, rest. You've gotta make sure the note actually stops ringing. All right, and when we press our first finger down, we press down nice and hard, all right? And in fact, if I take my finger off, now you're gonna see a nice line going across my finger, all right? But that's telling me I'm pressing down hard enough, and you'll soon know if you're not, because it's not gonna sound very nice. 
Let's try that again. All right, I'll keep counting this time. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now the next little exercise across, all right, this time we're going to be brave. I'm not going to put the squares which are showing you as we're moving, all right? It's so normally at this point when I'm teaching face to face, I stop pointing at their music as we're playing. So in this case, I'm gonna stop putting those little helpful squares, all right? Really now you need to start reading the music as you go without that help, okay? Okay, so the next one starting with Ds. All right, so D on the middle line, first finger, E on the next space up. One, two, three, four. 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 How did you get on without the little boxes to help you? Right, so the next two little exercises are up now. Exactly the same thing. If the note is on the mid of the line, we're gonna play our open D. And if the note is on the third space up, the next space up from our middle line, we're gonna play our first finger E. Still all minims and minim rests, those little blocks. And I'm not putting the squares. Let's see how we get on. One, two, three, four. 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 Don't forget, you can always slow the videos down. Press the little cog below and click the settings, okay? And it is a video, so you can stop, practice, pause, rewind, repeat, and so on. Right, the last of the little exercises. So we've got four Ds, crotchets, okay, or quarter notes. How do we know that? Well, they're colored in, they're black, but they're still on the mid d -d -d line. And then our first finger E's, because they're on the next spaces up. The first two of those are colored in black. So they're crotchet beats worth one, okay. And then we've got a minim E. Then we've got four more crotchet E's, couple of crotchet D's and a minim D with no rests. This is going to take a little bit of practice. Little bit slower. Here we go. One, two, three, four. 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 How are we getting on without those boxes to help us? Remember, keep reading. And like you're reading in the book, you're almost reading ahead to see what's coming next. So you're thinking then, right, I've got to take my finger off to play my D or put my finger on to play my E. A little bit faster. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And I'm walking my fingers. First of all, I'm plucking the strings across the bass, not away. Much nicer sound. And then I'm sort of walking alternate fingers. Sometimes I start with my fiddle, middle finger. Sometimes I start with my index finger, okay? But I sort of take it in turns walk in them. So the first piece for the day by the stream. If you've got the book with the CD accompaniments, there's our little keyboard symbol to show that there's a backing track for this one. Right, so by the stream, it's all minims. There are no rests until the very end. So you're sort of looking ahead each time, but it's nice and slow. So by the stream, starting with D, here we go. One, two, three, Four, 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 one, two, 
rest. Rest, and remember you've got to stop the string ringing for your rest. So I'm going to play it again, maybe a little bit faster, and I'll zoom in uh, a bit closer so you can see what my first finger is doing when I'm lifting it and putting it back on. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, if you're pressing it hard enough because if you don't all right you get a horrible sound so really make sure you're pressing your first finger down hard enough that you get a nice line in your finger afterwards so the night sky nice long one we're going to read both lines you can see there is a little keyboard symbol to show as a backing track with this because this one fits with Twinkle Twinkle Little Star as well. Right, no squares, you can do this. It's only two notes, so you're thinking, is it on the mid -da 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 line or is it on the space above? So we press our first finger down. One, two, three, four. D. How did you get on that could well take a little bit of practice as I said if you're used to pressing your fingers down already you'll fly through it all right but I didn't want to overload anybody today especially if it's absolutely the first time you've started pressing fingers down so we'll go through that one more time a little bit faster and I will try not to say anything here we go one two three four How did you get on with that? Hopefully you're managing without the squares um, and hopefully that wasn't too fast. But as I said, practice it, put this back on. Or if you've got the book with the accompanying CD, go and have a go with the backing track. So I did promise a nice short lesson, um, mainly because I'm trying to do this A, as I do it in school um, and B, keeping it simple. There's a lot to take on board when you're reading music. There we go. I do hope that has helped lesson number three, reading music for our bass ukuleles. Hopefully lesson number four will be coming very, very soon. Fourth finger F sharp, and then we'll start to join other things up, okay? As always, um, please feel free, leave a comment or a question below Give us a like if you've enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos. Thank you for watching.